Hello everyone and welcome back to Xenoblade Chronicles 2. The last session worked, I believe, two of the videos are already going live at the time of me recording this. Yep, third one should go up a little after I finish recording this session, but it all worked. I was able to render it out. Audio was good, or at least it seemed good from what I saw of it. And uh, all, all is well. All is well. At long last, we can continue playing this great game as well as other games. I'll be getting some Odyssey up sometime next week, but over the weekend, it's just going to be Xenoblade 2 to make up for all the time lost. And then I'll eventually get back to Shadow of War and Vesperia as well, and uh, Hagrid's Memory once it comes out. I didn't want to go to Skip Travel. Um, X takes you to Skip Travel? Oh, hey. That's really useful. Actually opens up the map of the immediate area you're in. So, I have no more fears about saving the game. So, I want to bond with a blade and see what we get. So, let's do Rex first. I have five rare core crystals. I do have Rock's core crystal. Sick. I just can't use it yet. I thought that we didn't have it. And this is the, uh, the beast guy. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Cool. I'm going to do one rare for Rex and one for Nia and hope that we get something actually rare. Uh, use a justice booster because... It's too low level. Alright, here we go. Here we go. Fingers crossed for something good. Give me an actual rare blade, not one of the default guys. Can you actually tell from this little flashing moment, or is it just all gibberish until the blade actually exists? Ah. Uh, yep. Basic tiger guy. Well, that's someone else to send on the Merc missions. Oh, the Merc missions. I should do that at the start of the session. He's also fire, which is the worst possible thing for Rex to get. Cool. Thanks, dude. All right. Well, that one was another failure. It's also a healer role. I can say words. So that's something that Rex didn't have before, I guess. Go ahead and get that compassion up. Whatever. Yeah, I meant to use two of them. No, wait. Yeah, there you go. Use both of them. Whatever. I don't care. I don't entirely understand how these boosters work. I just figure it's probably better to use them than to not. Come on, Nia. Get something rare. A unique blade. Ah! And my will, unbreakable. I will always pronounce your name as Agate because of Pokemon Coliseum. But hey, Agate! An attacker role, so it would have been way better on Rex, of course. But cool, we have another unique blade, which we will set on Nia, obviously, because it's Nia's, in place of this lightning guy. So take Agate instead. It gives us another Earth, so you know. Oh, and you can go ahead and have the electric guy, too, I guess. Electric? Yeah, okay, electric. Let's get, the party started. get it started. All right, two healers and one attacker. So hopefully you stick mostly to Dromark for healing. But having, uh, having her as well is pretty good. Cool. Six. So that was not a complete waste of time. Let's look at all of Agate's stuff. Hello there. You need one of these. You're an attacker, so you want the spinal chip to get the guardian's axe. There we go. I would like to get every single... Uh, whatchamacallit by the end of the game, by the way. Critical 2... HP attack, just so you have something. I'd like to get every unique blade by the time we finish this playthrough, if possible. Perform a driver combo. Okay, that's easy to do. You'll get that in no time. Then you gotta start up in this affinity to get these other things. Alright, all pretty easy. You have mineralogy, knowledge of minerals, and keen eye. And then this is prospecting. 
which you will uh, learn later. All right, seems easy enough. Sick, another rare one. Or another unique one, I guess is how I should say it. So with that out of the way, we will now continue on with the things that we do, which will be the main mission for today. I still want to focus on main missions for this session, probably the next session as well, and then after that we'll see about mixing things up, going and doing some side quests and whatnot. But for now, the main focus is main missions. This light, what is it? Rock's core crystal. It was like a stone. What happened? Don't you remember, Rex? Vanham told you. Core crystals don't die. They always regenerate after a while. Regenerate? Ready to be reawakened by a new driver. So, if I resonated with it now... Then a new rock would be born into this world. A new rock. Vandam's blade. What do? I'm not sure. Taking Vandam's old partner. It just doesn't feel right. Yeah, but maybe he would have wanted you to do it. Just do whatever. Right. Probably time we headed for the ship, right? Oh, yeah. I'll go ahead and register us for boarding. Nia, do we really need to rush? Sure, we could take our time and miss out on the good seats. Oops. Ow. What was that kid's problem? Rex, your bag! Huh? No. No, no! What have you lost now? Rock's core crystal. It's not here. You mean a little brighter? After him, at once. Titan's foot. Argentum is not very big. Does this thief think he's going to get away? Also, I will totally take Rock's core crystal and make him my own partner. He's an attacking class wind monster. That would be great. Absolutely fantastic. Moving Rock onto Rex is like the best possible scenario. Also, rather Vandom wanted you to do it or not is kind of irrelevant because if you don't do it or at least give it give Rock's crystal to someone to use, you're basically dooming Rock to never exist again. When he could easily be brought back to life. That's just horrible. Memories are not. It's incredibly <laughs> rude. Where is this little brat? Still over this way, huh? You will not escape me, child. I went on the wrong side of the box. No, it's over here, okay. That little thief looked pretty young, right? Yeah. And those ears. Gormotti for sure. So let's see. There, that's the brat. Whoa! What do you think you're doing? Why, that little... He stole the old ship. What now? Let's go. Are there any other... There's one! Garen! Hey, Rex! What's the big hurry? Let me a boat! What? I mean, sure, but why? There was a pickpocket. Took our core crystal. Over there! Over there? Hold it! Bring that ship back here! Why, that's Pittman's ship! Your thief's on board that thing! Please! All right then. The key's in the slot, so you can take her right out! Thanks. I'll bring her back as soon as I can. No worries. Go get him, Rex. This is incredibly easy to steal these Titan ships. Like, ridiculously easy? Good thing that we were friends with that guy. I'd better be able to bond with Rock after all this is over, I swear. Need another attacker in my life. Electra's cool and all, but tank is not good enough. What, we went to a whole other location? I thought that we would fight him on the open sea. That the ship! Yeah, 
No doubt about it. This is where he got off. He may still be somewhere nearby. Right. Then let's ask around and see what we can find. Good plan. We back on Gormot itself? Because I recognize it. Oh my goodness. Yeah, this is Gormot. Okay, cool. Wold. Did friends see Gormati boy who took important thing from Rex Rex? Yes, I saw him. Just as the ship was docking, he ran up the stairs in a terrible hurry. I thought he wasn't a familiar face around here, but I'm afraid I couldn't tell you much about him beyond that. Thanks so much, dude. Appreciate it. Every bit of information helps. Everyone else is up on higher levels. Got someone on this level right there. They're probably all along a path everyone I need to talk to. Did friend see Gramati boy? Oh yes, Hana Hana see boy. Very scuffy boy went running up staircase very quick quick. Hana Hana seen lots lots of country, but all country have some child like that. More ordained, Urea even in dull. Gap of rich and poor exist everywhere. Very sad state. Oh, friends chasing after boy to get back stolen thing. Uh, should always keep valuables very carefully secure. Keep valuables carefully secure to body when travel. I cannot. Cannot read. Also, yes, I will be more careful in the future. Myron, dude, what you got for me? This rain is causing a slight bit of lag in the switch. Hey, did you see a Grammy boy around here is stealing stuff? I did see a boy head over towards the farm. Was he the one you're after? I feel like this city is getting less safe recently. There was that nasty incident not long ago, too, and the water outage. Yeah, that was really unfortunate. Torigoth has the biggest Ardanian base in the whole of Gormat, you know. In other regions, the Ardanians don't have quite as much influence. I just worry about the future is all. Much thanks, dude. Appreciate it. Someone down below us again, but I think... We do go down a slight slope in this direction, so we'll probably... Yeah, now it's, it's going on and off of being on the right height. Right here's the slope. Hey, did you see a Gramati boy? Yada yada. Nope, didn't see nobody. I was all busy with my work, so I wasn't really looking. He could have come this way, though. Try asking someone else. Thanks, dude. Girl. Whatever. I call everyone dude. Doesn't matter what your gender is. You're a dude to me. Dude. Over this way. Nugby. What's up, dude? Did you see a little brat? Did you see Gormati boy? You're playing tag or something, right? I probably wouldn't help you then. Wouldn't be fair. No, he's a thief. What? That kid's a thief? All right. He must be the one Otto was telling me about. Want more info? Otto the woodcutter keeps telling me he saw this boy hanging around outside of town. He always tells him to come back into the town because it's not safe outside, but the boy just runs off. That's all. That's about all I know, though. Maybe you should ask Otto himself. You'll find him over at Nocklea Timber Site. Take care now. Thanks. Nocklea Timber Site is way over that way. Do, do, do. We got some side quests over there to pick up as well. Let's grab these side quests really quickly, and then we'll go figure out where this Brad is at. Get them now before I forget. That way we can accomplish them at a later so, date. Shall we? We shall. Oh, a notice board. That can have quests on it. That makes sense. This is wanted. Ten pieces of Melosian honey reward offered can be obtained in Honeypot Grotto. Delivered to State Chief's residence. Signed, Militia Chief Moy. Easy enough, the Militia's request. Was I saying Militia before? It's Militia. I'm pretty sure. Is this a blade? This is a blade, isn't it? Vess? Oh my, well, this is a bit of a sticky situation, isn't it? Uh, can I help you? Oh, hello there. You don't often see a blade wandering about on her own. Where's your driver? My name is Bess. As it happens, I'm actually a blade. Yes, we just... Yeah, I was about to say, we just said this. Uh, literally, I just said that. You seem to be worrying about something. Anything we can do? Yes, well, I came here to do some shopping, but they don't have what I'm looking for in stock. And since more Dana are regulating what gets through to Gourmet... There are a lot of products that don't make it to the marketplace. I know. Would you mind terribly picking out some ingredients for me? I would go myself, but I don't really have the luxury of straying too far. Please, I'd be very grateful. Sure, I don't mind. So what's this fancy stuff you're after? Oh, I'm not sure you could call it fancy per se. I'm looking for five clumps of salty soil, eight portions of grom rice, and five ruby mango steens. I'm always in the area, so just come back here when you're done. Tora, understand, we'll be waiting here too. 
tranquility. Wait a minute, is Taurus saying that he's going to stay here and leer at this blade instead of coming and helping us? Ah, Tora. Oh, Japan. Anyways. We will worry about those side quests later. We got a nice stockpile of side quests now, I think. So we can definitely get some work done on those after we uh, do some more main quest stuff. All right, now that I'm in here, I should just open up the map by X. Yeah, okay. He's way over there, and there's a side quest near him as well. So side quest is first priority. Grab that, and then we'll go to the main mission spot. We go. What will we find? Am I going the right way for this side quest? Yeah, I think I am. It's over here, so... Oh, no. I have to go through the strong enemy. Oh, no. Ugh. Well, actually, they're level 32 and I'm level 28. They're not as high level ahead of me as they used to be. That, uh, that Soros, though, is definitely way above my pay grade. Yeah, level 92. It is long beyond my pay grade. Is this the right way still? No, to the right. I gotta hang to the right. I'm going too far that way. It is over here somewhere, so let's grab that and then get the heck out of this location. Before we're murdered. Thank goodness he wasn't aggroable. Or that he just didn't aggro to me for some reason. Come out, come out. Flora heals an aching soul. Very good. Always good to heal on that aching soul. Is it in this pond lake area? No, it's still further to my right. More this way. Ah, there it is. You guys think I could kill this level 33 small enemy here? Sandal, Rapture, oh, it's the, I hate this thing. You know what? No, no, you're not worth it. Kaffir, what's happening, my dude? Hey. Hey there, you lot look like you're well used to the open road. And then you have me. Is something wrong? Ah, where are my manners? Kaffir's the name. I'm a traveler of sorts, too. A certain doctor from Gormod asked us to source him some healing herbs, so me and my pal Shirley said we'd oblige. We're both strangers here in Gormod. We're not too sure where to look for medicinal herbs in these parts. While we were searching, somehow Shirley managed to wander off all the way over there. What? How? I've been calling out for ages, but with no response. It's a wee bit embarrassing, but I'm no good at clambering up things. By the time I get to where she is, she'll probably have moved off somewhere else. It's same for me, dude. We're going to help, right, Rex? Of course we are. Really? Hey, that's a great help to me. I can see Shirley from here, so if she moves, I'll give you a shout. Tora, get it. Oh, Ranch, she's no good at fighting either, but she's gone and haired off and left me all by myself. Really, truly. Oh, sorry. Could you go and tell Shirley to come back here? Cheers. I mean, like, I'm not going to do this right now, so if she actually does move or it somehow is time-sensitive, then you're out of luck, my friend. I imagine she's not actually going to move, though, knowing normal JRPG standards. What have we here? What have we here indeed? How would I even go about getting to that location? Judging by that torch, those torches, it looks like there's probably like a cave somewhere that can get me over to where that is and then I go across. Maybe right down there actually. I don't see any way to climb across. We will worry about that later whenever I do uh, press X. Don't do that. Whenever I do that side quest session I was talking about. For now, let's just warp here. Back to where we first warped. And get over to this main quest. Off we go. Where is Why my cell find? phone? There it is. Alright, sorry. Got a message. Of course, that only happens when I start recording. Uh, I remember this campfire spot. This was right after we did that really ridiculous dropping of the water tower on... Bridget, that should have never worked in a million years, but through the power of video game, it did. I'm not gonna bother fighting these nerds. I know that immovable Gonzalez is near here, which is a callback to the first Xenoblade game, and I think it might have there might have also been one in Xenoblade X. I can't remember. Is this the way I'm supposed to? Wait a minute. Wait a minute. I went way way off the beaten path. I need to go back the way I came and then hang a left. Surely the place I'm trying to get is not behind the immovable Gonzalez because that thing's like level 80 something, isn't it? There's no way I'm getting past it at this stage of the game. No chance.
bum 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 bum